Hello, this is Mark from My Keys to Music. Thanks for joining me on this video. Have you ever wanted to use your Nord Electro 6 but incorporate some kind of arpeggiator with it? Well, I've got a tool here that might do the trick and it does it for a fairly modest amount of investment. $200 US or so as of this recording and it's a keyboard controller. Now it's got 37 keys and they're miniature keys so it's nothing fancy from the standpoint of a performance but what it can do from an arpeggiation standpoint powering your Nord Electro 6 is very impressive. So this is called the Arturia Keystep 37 and it has a built-in onboard arpeggiator right here with a lot of different features. In fact, one would argue probably even more features than the Stage 3 arpeggiator in terms of what it can do. And let's just put it through some paces here, but before we do, I need to show you how I've set up the Nord Electro 6 to accept this. Because the idea is I want to play my piano on the Nord Electro 6 along with the arpeggiation coming from the synth engine. So first, let me take it out of this mode. I'm just going to put it into a normal mode. And I'll just play, here's the piano. That's the part I'm going to play. Nothing fancy there. Then the synth part that you're going to hear is kind of like a synth strings. I'm actually using it for like a, a jump sound for from the Van Halen song, Jump. And I actually recorded this sample from the Nord Wave 2 and then brought it into the Nord Electro 6 so that we could play Jump on the Electro 6. But that's a story for another day. I'm using this sound to power the arpeggiator. All right. But I put the keyboard into this mode called uh, extern to low. And what that does is it says anything playing in the low zone will be controlled from an external source and anything playing in the upper zone will be controlled directly on the keyboard, such as the piano. So the piano is in the upper zone. You'll hear it and control it here. Anything in the lower zone won't actually be heard from the keyboard directly. You have to play it through the keyboard controller, which I can do here. So that's a neat way to split your setup so that you can have some flexibility there. But where it comes in particularly handy is in this scenario where I want this to do arpeggiation on the synth side while playing the piano uh, as the main melody. So let's set that up. I'll get my piano on here. Got my synth ready to go. In fact, I can adjust this decay down a little bit. And then I'll turn on the arpeggiator. Now this is also powering a Beat Buddy drum machine. So when you hear the drums, it's coming from a machine that's not pictured here on the camera, but it's being controlled here by the keyboard controller. All right, so let me just start it. So you can hear the drums, and I can adjust the rate of the drums here. Just straight MIDI, MIDI out to in on the drum machine, and then from the drum machine out to in on the Nord Electro 6. So it's just two, two jumps. So I'll set it at 113 here. And then I can turn on the arpeggiator just by playing a note here. And again, just to further clarify, that sound is coming from here. But again, when you put it in this external to low mode, I won't hear it when I'm playing it here, but only from the keyboard controller. So. Now I can put it into hold mode, which will hold the notes for me, and that way I can just play and it keeps that pulse going. Now I can introduce multiple keys, and it's going to vary between the two keys. I can play three keys, and it's set, set up for a three key pattern. And then I can hold the shift button and hold the octave up button, and that expands the range a whole nother octave. So it takes those three notes and then adds three more, in a sense or it expands it to two octaves. So now I've got like a sequence going on here and I can play along with uh, the piano. And I'll just play some chords from a famous song here. I can adjust the volume of the synth here. Now if I expand this
So who knew your Nord Electro 6 could act and behave with properties of a synthesizer with the addition of one of these controllers? So what we can do now, we can change the personality of this altogether. I can taper this decay down. We're back to that again. And I can add the organ in, giving it yet a whole nother feel. And I can take out the synth engine and just leave a couple of drawbars or even one. Take out the drums for a second. I can change the pattern of this. Add the percussion on the organ. Makes a big difference. Add the drums back in. So I think that's a good example of what happens when you take one device that's MIDI compatible and combine it with another device that's MIDI compatible. The Nord Electro 6, known for its great sounds, its capability to play organ, piano, and synth, but then combine that with like a synth manipulator, such as the Arturia Key Step 37 by way of the arpeggiator, and now you have all kinds of different options that you didn't have before, and for not a lot more money. Yes, you could upgrade to a stage three, and if you do, you'll get a, this feature and a whole lot more. But it is nice to just say, hey, look, I've got a couple of hundred bucks. I'll spend it on a, a keyboard controller and then bring a whole new dimension to whatever keyboard you've got connected, especially if that keyboard doesn't have an arpeggiator. By the way, this key step has a sequencer as well. So there's another option too, which I did not demonstrate. So this is brand new for me too. Oh, and I didn't even explain the fact that you can do pitch bend with the Arturia as well. Although the pitch bend on this Arturia is a little funky. It's not quite as concise or as precise as the pitch stick that you have on the Stage 3, for example. Hey, thanks for joining me on this video. If you like this stuff, subscribe, send a like, add a comment with questions. I like to answer questions. The channel is still small enough where I can answer most questions in a timely manner. Thanks for joining me, and we'll catch you on the next one.